What's up boys and girls? Spring is sprung, summer's getting near, so it's time to get these sea dews up and ready. So I didn't really talk too much about what I did for storage last year. Um, it's really quite simple, there's no need to pay the dealership a bunch of money for no reason. You simply take the battery out. I like to plug the exhaust up so no critters get in. And other than that, all I did was took each spark plug out and just put a little bit of ATF, automatic transmission fluid. Not a lot, just some. Just poured a little in on top of the pistons, put the plugs back in. That's it. That's all I did for storage. Nothing more. So now what I do to unstore it, obviously put the battery back in, unplug the exhaust, and oh yes i did put some fuel stabilizer into it so um basically once the battery and the exhaust is unplugged the thing should fire right up but that's not what today's video is about today's video is uh sponsored to me by mr dave alonzo from ruthless racing he said bro i like your machine i like your parts i like your videos but he said that valve cover's gotta go it is completely oxidized to crap and I see down here my oil filter and stuff is starting to get quite oxidized as well and this is claimed to be caused by driving it in the ocean well this machine literally takes on no water when I'm ocean driving like not a drop this thing doesn't leak a bit and when I bought the machine this valve cover was in hard shape when I had first got it so it wasn't I wouldn't say it was completely caused by me but this white soot everybody says it's salt well I assure you if you do a taste test it's not salt because if that was salt and I licked my thumb right now you would know it was salt it's definitely not salt if you do a taste test but it's oxidization and like Dave said this looks like crap when I take the seat off I got his nice intake back here that you can't really see but what we're going to do is we're going to change this valve cover. So what needs to be done is first we get on to our wiring for our coils. Then we're going to take our coils out. And then it's just simply a matter of these six Torx specialty things. So you need a set of these sockets and you need a T30 to do this job. That is it. And the T30 is a little bit loose. So if you're coil bolts are super tight you may I believe there is a specialty tool for this as well but a T30 will work so anyway we're gonna get this apart get it off see what the cams look like underneath and stuff and uh, put her back together so there we have our wires off and our bolts are out and now it's just a matter of pulling them out they kind of suction cup in there but they're unless something's wrong they're usually not stuck in too bad so there those are out now we're going to do these six and off comes the valve cover all right so i lied there was actually eight cover bolts sorry so there's eight of them and once you get them loosened off you got to grab them and pull them out because they got this little little rubber thing geared up onto it to keep it sealed and as you can see it's all super oxidized but it's a stainless steel washer so I'm gonna clean those up before I reuse all right so once your valve covers off and as you can see my one coil boot stuck on mine um, you do not want to get any of this oxidization crap in your engine so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to get my vacuum cleaner out i'm going to vacuum off this little bit of stuff that fell down through the bolt holes get that cleaned up and um other than that everything looks pretty clean pretty good inside this engine here from what i can see chains in good shape no marks on it so i'm gonna get the vacuum out clean this up and then we'll get our brand new cover on all right so we've got that all vacuumed and cleaned out now our next step is going to be i'm going to take some really fine sandpaper and i'm just going to clean up this outer edge as you see over here it's quite dirty 
So we're just going to clean that up and we're going to give it another quick little shot with the vacuum and then we're going to be ready to slip our new cover in there. All right, we got our surface all nice and cleaned up on that outer edge. So now we're going to lay our valve cover on and this thing's going to look new again. All right, our new cover's in place. I got my bolts all cleaned up that hold the cover on. Uh, when it comes to torquing this, obviously you don't use a crazy amount of torque. And what I just found with these special bolts is once it's tight, that's it. So you'll know, notice when you do this job, when you tighten them up, it's like super easy, super easy, super easy, and then wham, it just stops. So once it just stops, I just applied a little bit more pressure to seat it, maybe uh, to guess somewhere between maybe 20, 25 foot-pounds. So the next step is we're going to put our cover, our oil cover back on, which is still on this here. That should make her look a little better now. Thanks so much, Dave, from Ruthless Racing. Man, this guy is the awesomest guy to deal with for parts. Like, literally, guys. Check them out. So, we're going to put our coils back in, bolt them on, hook our wires up, and uh, pretty much ready to go after that. All right. Job is complete. New valve covers in place. Once again, man, thank you. Dave Alonzo for hooking me up with the parts and uh, wow look how crappy that old thing looks she only she had rot literally <laughs> rotten now she says Rotax so pretty excited to get this thing out for its first rip but uh, we got another video coming up right after this one so stay tuned uh, Dave sent me a new intake once again for this machine so we're gonna get that on try it out see how it fits and uh, go from there please subscribe guys thanks for watching